morning, guys. It's Steve. Can James Harden ever win an MVP award? And the question, you know, it's kind of tough, but at the same time, it really isn't. And here's why. If James Harden can lead the Rockets to a top four seed in the Western Conference next season, there's no doubt about it. He's going to win MVP. With Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry on the same team, I highly doubt either of them will win MVP again because, once again, it's not like LeBron and Wade because Wade, you know, he was in his prime only for the first year and then took a back seat, and then it was pretty much just LeBron dominating, you know. But with Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, I predict both of them are going to continue to dominate. So James Harden, in my opinion... If he can lead the Rockets to the playoffs again, you know, like he did last year, like literally he is the only reason why they made the NBA playoffs last year. They finished 41-41, and and he averaged 29 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and and 7.5 assists per game. Now, when you look at numbers like that, who does that remind you of? LeBron James. The only difference is, is he is not a great defender like LeBron was in his prime. Now, LeBron has gotten slightly lazier on defense, but, you know, that, you know, you know, James Harden still isn't a great defender like LeBron. Um, But I mean, if you just look at how efficient James Harden is, I mean, if you think about it, he's shooting 20 times a game, he's getting double teamed, and he's still shooting 44% from the field. Now, 44% isn't as high as LeBron or Kevin Durant, you know, those top tier players, but I mean, the dude is still averaging 29, 6, and 7. So like, that that's pretty amazing. And then you also think about how he's shooting 36% from the field, 86% from the free throw line. You know, I know he averaged nearly five turnovers per game last year. Some of them, you know, he, he had a, a shack in a full season last year. I understand that. But he's still, like, literally, he is, uh, in my opinion, you know what? He is a top five player in the NBA, in my honest opinion. You know, like, honestly, the way he carries his team, there are barely other, any other players that carry his, their team more than James Harden does. And, I mean, just just thinking about it, if, if the Rockets can give him some more solid players, like they have Patrick Beverly, so that's good. You know, I'm pretty sure they still have Trevor Ariza and Ty Lawson. I'm not sure about their roster that much. I know they lost Dwight Howard, but now it's just going to be primarily James Harden on that team. I mean, Dwight Howard didn't really do much. I think he averaged like 13-11 and 11 last season or 14-12, and 12, something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like, I really predict James Harden to average 30-plus next season. Probably seven rebounds and seven assists again. Like, I mean, it, gosh, man. If, if the Rockets, I'll say this. If the Houston Rockets can make at least a 1-4 through four seed in the Western Conference next season, I guarantee you the MVP award is going to James Harden. No doubt about it. You know, let's forget about the past. Forget about 2015. Forget about 2016. You know, let's focus on 2017. James Harden is definitely going to win that MVP award. I mean, literally, the Rockets, you know, they they have a bunch of old role players. I mean, Corey Brewer, you know, Trevor Ariza. You know, they're old players, man. You know, Patrick Beverly is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. He's a pretty good defender. Um, you know, Dwight Howard was good. But, I mean, if it weren't for James Harden, that 41-41 and 41 record probably would have been 21-61. and 61. Or, you know, like something terrible like that if it weren't for James Harden. Like, honestly. Last season, he scored 2,376 points. He had 500 rebounds. He had 600 assists and 140 steals. I mean, come on, man. That's that. Those are like LeBron James season type numbers. Like uh, the the amount of hate James Harden gets, you know, it baffles me because he is just you know next level. He's top tier in terms of the stu- superstardom level. I consider him top tier superstardom. And I, you know, like if you want me to compare them to any other superstars, you know, like LeBron or Kevin Durant. Or Michael Jordan in his prime. Or Larry Bird in his prime. Like top tier superstar level. You know. That is what I consider James Harden. Because I mean. Like come on man. How many people can literally sit there and say. They average nearly 37 and 7 a game. And then in the playoffs. It's 26 points per game. 5 rebounds per game. And nearly 8 assists per game.
You know what I mean? So when I think about all of this stuff, you know, I, I just sit back and, you know, like, it's crazy how we, we can just sit here and unappreciate how dominant some players really are. You know, because it, it's crazy because even when the Rockets were good two years ago, they still, he, he was still underappreciated. Yeah, people were upset that Stephen Curry won over James Harden, but no one's talking about James Harden being a top five player in the world and he really is i understand he's not a great defender but he's not just a scorer he can pass he's a playmaker he's a floor general he can take over he's clutch you know and you know people say oh most of his points come from the free throw line okay that's true but you can't get mad at him he knows how to draw the contact and take the contract contact without getting injured you know how many players can sit there and say that they do that you know what I mean? So when you sit back and actually think about how much he truly impacts the game, and his usage percentage in the regular season was something like 32%. Now, when you compare that to other stars in the league, the only players that high are Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and who are those players? Those are top tier superstars. You know, so like, there's no way <laughs> he's not. If they're, if they're one through four seed, there's no doubt about it. He's going to win the Most Valuable Player Award. Like, honestly, no doubt about it. Um, I really hope he wins MVP next season because, I mean, he deserves it, man. I just I, He needs to play, you know, with some more heart on the defensive end. I understand that. Yeah, that's true. But to sit there and say, you know, he sucks because he doesn't, you know, he's not a lockdown defender. Not everyone can be like Jordan. Not everyone could be like Kobe. Not everyone could be like a prime Wade. Not everyone could be like LeBron. You know, not everyone could be like Larry Bird. Those are players that impacted the game on every single damn level. Magic Johnson, you know, they impacted the game. Kareem on every level. But it's okay if he's not, you know, a, a great defender. He doesn't have to be a great defender to have a great career to win an MVP award. You know, you don't have to be a dominant defender. You, you truly don't have to. You know, and it's it, it, I feel bad for some of these players because we hold superstars nowadays to such a high expectation. And it's not, you know, the media's fault or the player's fault. It, it, it's just because some players were so damn good that we don't consider other players to be superstars because they're not that great as LeBron's or as Kobe's or as Jordan's. You know, but that's okay. He doesn't have to go down as a top tier superstar ever. You know, he could be a top two. You know, he could be a tier two superstar ever. It doesn't have to be top one, you know, tier one with like Jordan and Kobe and LeBron and Magic and Bird. You don't have to be up there. You know, he could still be one of the best ever. You know, so, so like when you think about it that way, like you really see how underappreciated he is. Because, I mean, damn, man, the, the, the stuff he does on the floor is just. I can't think of a player that impacts the game more than him, you know? I mean, LeBron, well, I, I mean, I can't think of many players that impact the game more than him. I mean, LeBron, we have Russell Westbrook, we have Kevin Durant, we have Carmelo Anthony, we have Dwayne Wade, you know, well, not really D. Wade anymore, but you know what I mean? Like, when you think about it that way, I only named who? Melo, KD, Westbrook, LeBron. Those are the only players I can truly think of that impact the game as much as James Harden does. Now, you know, you can say, oh, well, you know, James Harden impacts it more than Melo. You know, I, I, that can be argued, you know, and I won't sit there and be mad if you say that because it's he averages more assists. You know, Melo, what did he average? 22, 7 and 3, I think, 7 and 4, something like that. Maybe slightly off. But, like, you know, so that's, that's still, like, when you think about it, those players, like, those are the top tier. So <laughs> if he can lead the Rockets, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record now. If he can lead the Rockets to top four seed, he, he definitely has my vote for MVP. And I really hope he gets it because if anyone deserves it, it's him. You know, he, he truly, truly plays his heart out on the court. I understand sometimes he's lazy on defense. I understand that. But to hold that against him because we hold everyone to such a high standard because we've had LeBrons, we've had D-Wades, we've had Kobe's, we've had Shaq's, we've had Tim Duncan's, Kevin Garnett's, we've had Jordan's, you know, Magic's and Bird's and all these etc. etc. I could go on forever. 
You don't have to hold every superstar to that standard because not every superstar is like that. Look at look at Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is not a great defender. You know, he's gotten better throughout the years, but he's still not, you know, a, a lockdown defender. You know what I mean? So, like, and he still had a great career. You know, he's still a superstar. Look at, look at Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant isn't the best defender in the world, but he's still the second best player in the world. You know, so you don't have to be the best defender in the world, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, I, just, I hope I hope he gets it next year. And if it isn't him, I hope it's Carmelo Anthony, you know, because or, or LeBron, because I want LeBron to win at least two more. I think he should have won in 2011. And uh, actually, I think, I think LeBron should win every year, because if you think about how valuable he is...